Hello and welcome to Inside the Box Gaming with Luke. I am in the world of Minecraft right now because that is what this episode is going to be about. This large ominous shadow thing is underneath my project for math, which I was allowed to build in Minecraft. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is because I need to in order to pass the project. So, I know the water doesn't look quite right, but okay, there we go. I have it on normal render distance, so my computer doesn't, or so Minecraft doesn't crash, so the water's not constantly loading. And um, I know the water doesn't look quite right. This is supposed to be a fountain, but it's hard to get upward water streams in Minecraft. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. But, um, so pretty much I'm just using glass that's been completely detextured. You can see it there. Um, then I have iron blocks as, like, the jets. But anyway, the whole point of this project was to use parabolas in a real world situation, I guess. So, using information and various points on the parabola, we had to find the velocity as well as the angle at which the water is supposed to shoot. Now, I picked a computery theme for mine. We had to have themes, and I picked a computery one because that's just kind of where I see my future. So, there are these main ones up here, along with four smaller ones kind of forming a ring. And the larger one, there are two larger ones, we had to have six, even though it does look like eight, are based around a more kind of circuit thing, I guess, really. Um, it's got eight things, like binary wood, and I'll explain binary. Um, these circuits aren't supposed to be like that. Okay, oh. well anyway, these circuits are just supposed to kind of cycle back and forth like that. And they lead into the smaller jets. Um, once again, just kind of circuitry or process based. Oh, I didn't do that one right at all. Okay. So, um, the design of those circuits is pretty simple and self-explanatory, I guess. If you're familiar with Minecraft, if you are not, I wouldn't expect you to be watching this video except for my teacher, um, who may play Minecraft for all I know. I do not know entirely. Uh, no, I didn't do that right at all, either. Um, so, uh, so this fountain was, okay, that looked that good. So, there is more to this fountain, I'm just fixing everything, and a little thing popped up there telling me that I'm overusing my computer's capacity, even though I'm not. Okay. There we go. And... I believe I have already gotten that one. So we are good. And these textures may look different from the default ones because I am using my personal texture pack, which I'll get back to work on as soon as I'm not so busy. And now this is pretty computery because it's got eight levels with eight things on it each. So each one of those counts as a bit, the smallest thing of memory. And if the light's on, it means the bit is on, or it's a 1 in binary code. And if it's off, that means the bit is off, which is a 0 in binary code. And there are 8 bits in a byte, which is one line. And then 8 lines is one character. So I have a 8-byte computer, 
I guess, kind of. It's not really much of a computer, though. But it's kind of computer -y, you know? It's like a very low-end processor, if you want to put it that way. I'm not entirely sure how processors work yet, but I will be taking a computer science class pretty soon, and hopefully I will know then. So, there's just kind of the overview of the top, and I'm trying to keep this short because it's getting pretty late, and um, the x -Tory does take up a lot more memory than RAM, or uh, fraps. So, there's one other part of this. There we go. And that is this, the bottom circuitry. If you looked up here, you might have noticed early on, there's some glass there, that there are a whole bunch of repeaters down there. And basically, some computers you can see the insides of, and you'll notice that there is. <coughs> the lights will light up as the RAM gets used, and I'm just going to do that so the chunks over here get loaded, <coughs> so the game doesn't like quite so much. But anyway, um, some of the fancier computers let you have the RAM light up as it gets used. So that's kind of what that's representing. Uh, it's not letting me fly around. Because it's lagging so much, so I'll just go ahead and jump down here. Now, this is a 4 second circuit. It has 10 repeaters which mean, and each one delays by 0.4 seconds, so that's a total of 4 seconds, which means every 4 seconds, one volt of electricity gets sent up here, which I'm just going to go ahead and grief myself here a little bit to show you guys what it looks like. There is a layer of glass between us and the bottom of the fountain, but there's the endless, vast amount of repeaters, and eventually if you go over here, far enough, yay, flight's re-enabled, um, you can see where it just kind of dies out. And that doesn't really happen in computers, I guess it does, kind of, I don't know. Probably does. Like I said, I'm not the most advanced in that field of computers yet. Ah, oh, it's raining. So, using my handy too many items. I am going to turn the rain off. Okay, so do you guys want to see the bottom light up? Sure you do. I'll show you. And it's actually kind of glitched in a way that... You know what? I'm just going to fix that glitch right now. So, before there was a solid redstone wire, so whenever I turned that on, it would shoot up here, but it would also begin looping around which meant that the first bit wasn't uh, delayed correctly. But now with that repeater there, it'll get caught there and it won't go all the way around, so it'll just be one direction because repeaters are one way only. So, let's go ahead and fire this up. And just a quick brief little thing, you can see it getting delayed around, you can see it shooting up into here, you can see the uh, electricity flow, and now I'm gonna kill the circuit by doing that, because if there are too many circuits running at once, my computer lags really bad. I'm sure you're noticing that this is generally a pretty low FPS right now as it is. But so, when they're like completely closed, it's a point in one second delay, but there are like a thousand repeaters here. So that's like a hundred seconds, which plus just general travel speed. So it takes quite a while for them to actually get all the way to the end. But I was kind of hoping to get it to loop back on itself and create a circuit that way, but it would have required a lot more time and effort to get it timed right because it could take it take it would take nearly two minutes just to get one test done on the timing. So you can see the beams go this way and then when they come all the way down here they get looped into the next one which goes in the opposite direction 
and so on until they get all the way over here. But anyway, lay. Um, so we have been busy, and that's why we haven't been posting so much recently. Hopefully, once we get into winter break, we'll be able to put some nice videos your way. You know, because our subscriber base is just us. I mean, Remy hasn't even subscribed yet. But we'll be able to send some better videos up for the holidays. And then it'll be a new semester. And hopefully we'll be able to do pretty good until the end of school. In May, for me. I'm not sure when it is for them. I'm guessing it's somewhere around there. Late May. But in the summertime, we'll all have a lot of time to put some good videos in. So... Hey, Minecraft just made your likes. Biked. B. So Minecraft crashed on me. I'm not entirely surprised. I was recording and running quite a bit of redstone, so... It happens. Um, might be a little messed up, but... I think I'm pretty much got through the main part of the recording. Oh. I don't see the redstone light up anywhere. Never hit now that's glistening. Okay, yeah, I, you... No? Is it still going, or is it glitched? I think it glitched. Redstone's, apparently... I know it was pretty glitchy through all of beta, I'm not sure if they fixed it in the full release, but... Yeah, so... I'm sure you guys didn't really want to see another five minutes of me just talking while some redstone finished its loop. And then there's the fountain. One last good look at the fountain. You know, I'll turn the render distance on far. I'll, I'll do everything. Good. Okay, so... It's hardly even rendering now. Just gotta wait for everything to get together again. Re-render. I want max graphics settings for this part, except for the particles. I think those may have been slowing it down some. Because I've got water over glass. I don't think it goes through glass, but <coughs> it does like soak through dirt and planks, so at those minimum. And then the redstone also sends particles up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, favorite, or subscribe, and goodbye.